Hi, salute, Phoebe. Not too far away from where the president was appearing today is the third congressional district of Illinois, also the home to blue collar ethnic voters. And earlier this week, I spent some time with some of them. These quiet neighborhoods on Chicago's southwest side are the battleground for independents and Reagan Democrats. The home of auto workers, steelmen, firemen, and cops. It was secure Democratic turf, but it went for Reagan in 80 and 84. Rick Van Damelen was a Reagan Democrat. Voted for him twice, but then three steel plants where he worked shut down. I don't like what I'm seeing, and I think I would have wrote my ticket off different. Now, Van Damelen, with a wife and two young children, is making $6 an hour less than he was eight years ago. He hopes Dukakis can change that. I'm pretty confident he can do that. I, I, let's put it this way, I'm putting my faith in him this time around, hoping he can do it. But at the other end of the Whiting Steel plant, Bob Everett has decided to stay with the Republicans. He worries about Dukakis's liberal views. We're going to do a complete switch, maybe back to Carter, with uh, Dukakis, and this country just can't stand that. Dukakis campaign officials hope Everett is an exception. They believe the Bush effort to tag Dukakis as too liberal, left of mainstream, isn't working. They believe the economy is the real issue. I don't think that we have to sell these people anything. They know what it is. These were Reagan Democrats who thought that they were going to get something out of, the, out of the Republican administration, and they got it all right. They got it right in the neck. Even though this area has lost thousands of manufacturing jobs, unemployment here is only slightly higher than the national average.